You've entered the wrath of the Coco Goat. The attack of the Edge Lord. You can survive the onslaught of the Cat Girl as well. Remember what's really important. Remember Hu Tao. And what better way to do so than with another Hu Tao video. Yes, Hu Tao video number 5. This time we'll be talking about artifacts, from artifact set combinations to artifact main stats. Before the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support from you guys. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Let's start off with 4 pieces of Crimson Witch of Flames. Standard elemental 2 set effect with the 15% pyro damage bonus, and a really good 4 set bonus which increases damage from pyro based reactions and also further increasing pyro damage when an elemental skill is used. But unlike other units, Kutal will only be able to get 1 stack at any given time from the 4 piece bonus due to a long cooldown on her elemental skill. The final bonus she gains from this set is around 22.5% pyro damage and around 90 elemental mastery from the reaction damage increase. Next, we have 4 piece Lava Walker. The 2 piece effect for Lava Walker is quite insignificant in most cases, but what's important is the 4 piece effect 35% bonus damage onto enemies affected by pyro. For a character that does seemingly all pyro damage only, this seems like a huge boost at first glance. But in reality, this set has way more disadvantages than advantages. For one, it doesn't work against elemental units, such as slimes and cubes, that cannot be affected by elemental status besides their own element for a long enough time for you to get a second hit in, making it completely useless against these enemies. This becomes very apparent in Spiral Abyss where there are slimes in every floor. Second, the effect only works on enemies affected by Pyro as the description states. Therefore, the first hit of all your attacks will never be boosted by the bonus damage. This will be a problem when you ulti a large group of enemies for quick damage. Finally, this set discourages elemental reactions such as Melt or Vaporize. Removing the Pyro status from enemies with any reaction will result in a net loss of damage from consequent attacks. It's because of all these inconsistencies that I don't like the Lava Walker set as well as the Dragon's Bane. Moving on, we have 4-piece Gladiators, giving 18% attack and 35% normal attack damage. This 35% boost can be seen as a 35% pyro damage bonus but only with normal attacks. So charged attacks and elemental bursts won't benefit from this, but 35% is still a large number compared to let's say Crimson Witch's 4-piece bonus of 22.5% and considering Hu Tao will be attacking most of the time, this set will be pretty good on her. The only downside for this set is that it cannot be farmed reliably. It's way harder to get 4 pieces of good gladiators with the right main stat and sub stat. But if you happen to have 4 good pieces, this set is pretty good. Then we have 4 piece Noblesse Oblige. In my opinion, Noblesse is the most versatile set that can be used by supports and DPS characters of any element. Is this the best set for Hu Tao? No but it isn't bad either. Notable mention is Retracing Bolite. It has a 40% normal attack and charge attack attack boost when shielded, making it slightly better than 4-piece Gladiator's effect, but in order to run this set, you would have to run Hu Tao exclusively with a strong shield character like Zhongli, and maybe another Geo character for the Geo Resonance bonus. Definitely a set to consider if you have the right units. Finally, we have the mixed set, 2-piece Crimson Witch and 2-piece Anything Else. Be it Noblesse for 20% more elemental burst damage or Gladiators for the flat 18% attack. Personally, I'll be going for 2-piece Crimson and 2-piece Glads because I like the consistency from it and because I'll be using her as my main DPS. Onto the main stats. General rule of thumb when gearing DPS characters is to prioritize crit rate and crit damage, then elemental damage bonus, then attack. But in Hu Tao's case, she uses HP better than attack. So for flowers and feathers, the priority is crit rate or crit damage, then HP percent then attack percent, then flat attack, then flat HP. If you manage to get elemental mastery here and there, that's perfectly fine as well. For Sans, always go for HP percent means that it is much more efficient than attack percent in her case. For Goblet, pyro damage percent is the way to go. Same concept as any DPS, you want to have a healthy balance of different damage multipliers for maximum damage output. Finally, for Circlets, crit rate or crit damage based on what you need more. Hu Tao awakens into crit damage, so for most players, crit rate circlets are preferred. Unless you have a high crit rate weapon like Deathmatch or Jade Spear, then go for crit damage. Final note, it's much more important to prioritize having the right stats on each artifact before worrying about the right set to use. But seeing as we still have some time before she arrives, farming towards the right set definitely won't hurt her performance when you do get her. And that's the whole point of the video, to help you guys make a better informed decision on what set you should be farming towards. Well, that's it for Hu Tao video number 5. Hope you guys enjoyed this because this won't be the last Hu Tao video on this channel, not by a long shot. So don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.